Andy. I'm going to have to call you back. Oh, hey. Hi there. You know, um, I, I understand you want to talk about cell towers, but I'm a little bit thirsty. Well, all right. I feel a bit better now. So, I like to use cell phones, like most of you. I think they're great. Whenever I go outside, my wife or my children can give me a call whenever they need me. Uh, people can reach me, and they're fun. You know, a lot of gadgets on them. And if someone were to tell me, would you like to have faster data for your phone? Well, of course. I mean, who wouldn't want faster? Faster is better and slower, right? But what happens if, to get faster, you're going to have to put a large hole right in front of your house, like 30 feet from your house. Well, that's what's happening. Today, we're talking as a nation in the United States about putting one pole for every 12 houses. And these poles are 30 feet tall. Well, what is 30 feet? Well, 30 feet is like twice the height of your average light pole. And they're wide. They're wider than I am. I can stand inside of them. So, we have to ask ourselves, is is that something we really want? Faster internet on our phones, faster than 4G, if it means putting all these poles everywhere, like within 500 feet of each other, across the whole nation. I mean, maybe, maybe we want that. I mean, when we ran the telephone lines, people didn't like that either, because those telephone poles are above the ground, they run very far, and later we found out ways to put the telephone poles underground run the telephone wires underground so you didn't see them. And they're more reliable, don't have a problem with wind, rain, or snow. But I think we can all argue now that that was the right decision back then to build all these telephone poles so that way we can call each other over copper. We didn't have to just write a letter, we can phone each other. But while cell phones are great, do we need super, super fast? Because at some point, it's still not going to be fast enough. I mean, 30 feet from our house, we're saying that's faster than what we had, but is it fast enough? Because to get faster than that, they'll have to put it right on top of our roof. And if they're going to put it on top of our roof, why not have fiber in the ground, fiber optic, going into our house? That's really, that's really what we want. Because fiber is future-proof. Fiber has all the data we could ever need for at least the next 50 years. But uh, a small speed bump in wireless with these poles in front of our yards. You know, these poles are not going to be like the light poles we have. These light poles are designed to break. If one of our children, teenage children, drives into one of these poles, they'll break and they'll save the driver. But these new poles, they got a 300 pound weight at the top of them. The antenna is 300 pounds. So they have to be designed such that when you hit them with a car, they stay. These new poles are designed to kill the driver. I'm just not sure we're, we're ready for this kind of technology. The communities where these poles are being built, the ones that are first happening, first in California, then in Maryland, eventually the whole nation is the plan. We already have good cell phone coverage. We're not lost on that. We're just talking about a minor speed bump. Instead, what we really should be doing is focusing on fiber optic. So, Look down below in the comments. A few of my friends and I, we've, we've built a presentation to talk about this technology. Really give it some consideration. And if you're concerned, I urge you to write letters not only to your local government, your state government, but also the federal government. Because the head of the F FCC, his name is Tom Wheeler, this is his idea. This is his dream for the future of wireless. I'm not sure it's a shared dream. I'm not sure it's a dream that we all want forced upon us. I'm not against technology, but technology has to be right. This doesn't seem thought out. This doesn't seem ready. Let's not put poles that we're not ready for. Thank you. You know what? I'm still thirsty. Guess we could do some pretty dumb things with smartphones.